Redemption 2. And Arthur, look at Arthur. Long hair, trimmed beard. Let's see what we're about to get into on this episode. Moonshine, I'll make you some. Moonshine? Mm. Whiskey do? No, it has to be moonshine. Whiskey ain't strong enough. Okay. Mm. Thank you. My pleasure. Wait, do I got that now or no? Oh, I do got it. Got that moonshine for you. Okay, thanks. I'll make some arrows for you later. Sounds good. Now, I guess going to the store on the last episode helped. And I just got an achievement. Oh, another one for you, Jose. Horse walks into the saloon. Bartender turns to him and says, "What are you doing, Arthur?" What a long face. Oh, it just Hello, Mary Beth. Oh, how are you, Arthur? Fine. How are you? Um, well, I'm well. I think it's been quite a run we've had, but but we're still alive. Mm. So, no regrets. Regrets for what? Well, for joining this band of maniacs. If you're a girl without means in this world, life is very scary. You boys care for me before no one cared for me. Well, life weren't very nice, Arthur. Not after Mama got typhoid, and that was a long time ago. Sure. What about you? <clears throat> I heard you ran into that married girl. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And? Got me thinking how that all ended. Long time ago now. What happened? <laughs> well, she didn't love me enough, I guess. I wouldn't change. Huh. Well, she was a fool then, Arthur. Well, she put a lot of good years in on an outlaw. She definitely was a fool. In these books, life seems so simple, but in reality, I, I can't make head nor tail of it. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, we have a hmm. problem. A real problem. It's Tilly. What? She's oh. been taken by them Foreman brothers she used to run with. Come along! The Foreman brothers? What are they doing here? Well, I don't know what they've been doing here, but I can tell you what they're going to be doing here. Dying. Sure. Do we need more guns? You and I can handle this, Arthur. All Where right. Are we I'll tell you on the way. Just get going. Wait, I'm at a disadvantage. I don't got my rifles or nothing, but all right. And quick. She's in Rhodes? All right. No. She's at a place called Radley's house, just west of there. How do you know? When we first got here, she told me she was worried that our camp was near a safe house that gang she ran with used from time to time. And you told Dutch? No. She spoke to me in confidence. I suppose I didn't think it would be a problem. Now it is. Oh, yes. What do they want with her anyway? I think I saw one of the foremans hassling her in Valentine. Yes, they probably followed us down here. You don't know what happened? She killed one of them, for good reason, but clearly they don't see it that way. Tilly? Yes. Young Tilly Jackson isn't as sweet and innocent as you might think. But like I said, wow. she was defending herself. She fled and fell in with us right oh. after that. I just We're hope we can get, get to her in time. It's not too far. Will. If they touched a single hair on that girl's head, I will eviscerate the sons of bitches. See? You do care, Miss Grimshaw. Of course I care. About all of you fools. <laughs> Some just require a firmer hand than others. You especially. Ah. No doubt. Wow. Okay. I think that's the place up ahead. I think there's a guard. I'll deal with him. Whoa. What you want? Kind sir. 
We're lost and in need of some help. Well, get out of here. Oh, I see that kindly face of yours, and I know that for the right inducement, a gentleman such as yourself could be mighty kind. Now get out of here. Oh, now you keep saying that. But you don't mean nothing by well, I it. I said. You said your last word. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there and fight oh. girl. Let me claim the black pistol. Or the revolver. It's the strongest one I got, I think. Come on, Tilly. I thought there was. I... Yeah, it don't matter what you thought. It's okay. All right, let's go. Oh, come along, Miss. Thank you, both of you. What happened? It was Anthony Foreman. He thinks he owns me. I remember. Where is he? He went out hunting or something. There were five of him, I think. Well, we killed those fellas there. There they are. Come on, Tilly. Grab that gun. Anyone approaches, shoot them. Oh, don't worry. I'll be just fine. Now catch that bastard. All right. All right, get after them. Oh my God, we going through a bunch of trees and all that, and it's raining, storming. All right, hold up, let me shoot some too. What you did, you got it. They're heading down the hill to the water. You're getting into Shut the hell up. Shut up. You have the first idea what you're getting into. I'm Anthony Foreman. Well, thanks for the introduction, Anthony. Is that Foreman with an A? I want the undertaker to spell it right. Funny what? Oh, shit. Funny bastard. <laughs> Who are you running with? She didn't tell you? She didn't tell me nothing. Oh, uh, this rope is cutting into me don't feel so good when you're the one tied up does it she killed my goddamn cousin oh don't worry you'll be seeing him soon enough what are you gonna do with me hey sh all right here's your man bring him here dump him on the ground here all right come on anthony yeah yeah boy So he's still alive then? Ah. Yep. Yes. You see this girl? You leave her alone. She killed my cousin. Your goddamn cousin had it coming, Anthony Foreman. I don't care if she shot your daddy and cooked your mama for breakfast. She's mine. She ate yours. You know, a friend of mine, he always says, <clears throat> revenge 
is a fool's game. Now, you want all your boys dead? She had her reasons. We was family, Tilly Jackson. You foreman boys ain't no kind of family I want. Kill him, Arthur! You want that? I want him to go away and tell the remaining of his cousins and the clowns he rides with to leave me alone! Now, you think you can do that, Anthony? Or should I slit your throat and just save us all the bother? I'll leave you alone. History is done. History is never done. It's your call, Arthur. But I'd slit his throat. Go on. All right, you. I'm gonna do a Tilly sip. Let's get you home. Yeah. Now get out of here. So now I'm just taking this random yeah, horse cool. back home. Yeah, I guess so. Yep, I gotta go get Leah. I'm going to get Leah. And what a start to the episode, guys. You know, this horse seems so small after riding Leah for so long because she's so big. Am I here? Man, yeah, I'm here. In. Good to see you back, Arthur. All right, horse, you can leave now. Horse, no, never mind. Javier, do something with it. Yeah, I'ma just go to the next day. So we finna go to sleep. Ooh, Sadie. Oh my God, Reverend is drunk Thank again. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. Uh, don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank Thanks. you. I think. So what do you think of this place? You folks sure move around a lot. Yep, that's how it goes. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Mm. Sure. That booty though. Oh, I'm um, sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I'm going to sleep. It's good to see you. You okay, Maybeth? Just great, but I nearly got killed back in town. They caught me robbing from a store, and I ran for my life. You weren't followed here. Arthur Morgan? Of course not. Who do you think you're speaking to? Good girl. <laughs> All right, it's like extremely dark in the house. Well, we don't have like actual lights, so. Why does it say there's somebody by my door? Is that, oh, that's probably our, um, John M. I'm gonna sleep and we're gonna wait till morning
Alright. We should probably go meet up with Dutch Nim now, though. Hold up, uh, let me look at the list. I mean, it'll be much easier to just see Strauss first, though. So, where is he? I can't forget it's alligators and crocodiles out here too. Wait, is that one right there, bro? Uh, I'm just paranoid. Eh. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? Trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. Dutch tells me we're going to be ranchers. Perhaps, but um, so far we have not raised many cattle. No. So, Mr. Mm. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy oh, work. No. We'll need money in Australia. Uh, for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. I don't know. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, Algie Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. They're a union built on that, you know. Yeah. Okay. Micah, that's you, Wanted. ain't it? Yep. And how are you this morning? Working hard as ever? I make the money, not wash the clothes. Yeah, you keep telling yourself that. All right, Morgan. Hmm. <sighs> All right. Hey, Sadie. My look is inspired by you, girl. Mrs. Adler? Good morning, Arthur. You look pissed off. <laughs> no more than usual. Okay. Just checking you're all right. If you say so. Hmm. Well, I'll be back, everybody. Lenny. Lenny. Morning. You've been doing good. Thanks, Arthur. Keep at it. All right, Arthur. All right, Lenny. Let's go. Girl. How you doing, girl? <sighs> yeah, we're gonna go see Dutch. to Dutch girl. Go. 
What the freak? None of our business. Come on, girl. Hold up, guys. I'm gonna stop real quick. I'm getting a phone call. Hello. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. All right, I gotta go downstairs and lock the door, so hold on. Language. Hold up, guys. Give me a minute. about the interruption. There you so are. fellas. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much, just these some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. This the place? <clears throat> <clears throat> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? <laughs> you get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. <clears throat> Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Don't worry, boys. We come in peace. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, 
You walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> that is the barest woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uncomfortable. So, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> All right. Salute. Salute. Clean up this gun, too. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. Come on, let's get this over with. All right. Come on, then. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack ransom for all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be all right, brother. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. All right. Yeah, I got the shotgun. My favorite war rifle and the shotgun.
This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. Hang on. That might be... Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. John, do you know where to go? Because I don't. Wait, hold up. He's back here. John, where are you going? Oh, there's people here, buddy. Following you. How they expect anyone to rest in peace when they ain't even buried him in the ground? Is that what you want, Marston? Peace? One day. I'm gonna push your head. You watch my back. Alright, now they're giving me the chance to actually search. Stay close, you John. Don't care once we get the boy back. That bastard better keep his word. Goddamn place. I mean, gosh darn shithole. Can't be far. Let's keep going. How do I get over there? John, come on. You being slower than me. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I had a bit to drink. Man. Died. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get yourself home. Oh, crap. I'm gonna check over here. Over where? Alright. Wait, someone's here. Shh, hold up. I think I heard something. Either the dead are waking up, or somebody's trying to wake them. Okay. Come on. What was that? Boy, I found my pappy's 
Freaking Morgan. All right. Now let's find their stash. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty handed. Let's have a look where they first shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. All right. Come on, John. Like I said. Let's look around where they jumped us. Come on. Let's quickly check that spot where it all kicked off. Think there might be something in here. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the law's here. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came Damn. in. Come on. We best stick to the side. Bro, I got I got my, my bandana on, bro. They ain't seeing my face. Clutch is real. Come on, John. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Come on, Leah. Wherever you are, I don't want any trouble. And you'll have none from us. It's lucky I ain't a religious man. Let's just get back there, collect our side of the deal. You all right? All right. He best not be playing games with us. He almost certainly is. But let's just see. Keep your head. Act normal. How's he even gonna know we did what he asked? 
I got a feeling most things around here get back to him pretty fast. Like I said, we'll just see where we're at once we've got Jack. Come on, Arthur. You coming in with me? Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> And us, just simple on, country boys. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Yeah. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, right. son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Um, Did they uh, do what? anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And Fantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, <laughs> Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Could open oh, uh... up some opportunities for us. It's been a chaotic few days, but we can finally move forward now. Hey, they're back! I think I see Jack! Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything! We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. Did you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. Um, you need to be thanking John. I got my son back. Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you? You are ungrateful. I'm fine. Um, Thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go? Yeah, it's all right, John. <sighs> so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is, uh, Quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. 
Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. By your tent. Appreciate it. Loitering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Oh, how very kind. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Sure, be good now. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. Well, we got lucky this time. All right, well, I should be getting on. Okay then. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Es el lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca. No se lo des a nadie, cielito lindo que a mí me toca. Alright, guys, I'm gonna end the episode here. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.